Good day. Welcome to another session of Fog Accountancy Tutorials. Today we are going to take a, another question on bank reconciliations and we are going to solve a question that involves overdraft. In our previous video on bank reconciliations, we solved a question that resulted in a positive bank balance. Here we are going to look at a scenario where the question is an overdraft and also we are going to solve a more technical and difficult question than what we solved in the part three of this lesson. And so without wasting my time, I want you to come with me as I take you through this question and then we'll solve it together. Okay. On April 4th, 2020, Kofin Tam received his bank statements for the month ended 31st March, 2020. The bank statement showed a balance of 417,400 Ghana cities overdrafts as at 31st March, whilst the cash book showed a balance of 525,990 Ghana cities credit as at that date. Upon, upon examination of the cash book and the bank statement, the following were discovered. So the first one, bank charges of 2,010 Ghana cities had not been recorded in the cash book. Okay. And Kofi Tam exceeded his overdraft limit during the month of March. The bank had therefore charged the penalty of 2,500. This has not been recorded in the cash book. So that is the second discovery. The third one, a sum of 12,500 had been wrongly credited to Kofi in terms of bank accounts by the bank. Then the next one, a check of 12,300 Ghana cities had been returned by the bank as dishonored. As the check had been dishonored, the bank charged Kofi in Tam 150 Ghana cities. This has not reflected in the cash book. Then the next one. Cash receipts of 37,400 Ghana cities were posted as cash payment of 47,300 in the cash book. Next one. On 21st March, Kofi in Tam deposited an amount of 6,500 Ghana cities into his personal bank account. This was deposited to the business bank account in error by the bank. Next one. Standing orders and direct debits of 11,150 Ghana cities had not been posted to the cash book. Next one. Customers had deposited 21,700 directly into the bank. This has not been recorded in the cash book. The next one, receipts of 51,200 deposited to the bank account on 31st March 2020 had not been credited by the bank. All right, and then the last one says, the following checks drawn on the bank account had not been presented to the bank for payment as at 31st March 2020. So these are the checks. We have the check number the date check was written and then the amount. So check number 425280 was written on 11th March 2020 at an amount of 8,400. So these are unpresented checks as we can see. And check number 45350, 28th March 2020, 17,400. And the final check is number 45370, 31st March 2020 for 36,700 required. I prepare the adjusted cash book for the month of March 2020. I, I prepare a statement on 31st March 2020 reconciling the adjusted cash book with a bank statement balance. Okay, so this is the question that we are going to solve. I'm sure that by now your understanding of bank reconciliation is already up there. So we are just going to deal with some technical issues. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to prepare the adjusted cash book and the bank reconciliation statement as you have been required. And then we are going to solve the question together. Start again from the beginning. And as we read, we, we input the figures to where they are supposed to be. So that by the time we finish reading, we would have finished solving the adjusted cash book and then we prepare the bank reconciliation statement. Okay. We are going to prepare for Kofi in Tam adjusted cash book. So the... Business owner is Kofi Intam. 
So we prepare the adjusted cash book for Kofi in Tampa. So we show our currency sign in Ghana cities for both the debit and the credit sides. Now what we are going to do is that we are going to read from the top to the down. And by the time we finish reading, we would have finished preparing the adjusted cash book. So just watch how we do this. On 1st April 2020, Kofintan received his bank statement for the month ended 31st March 2020. The bank statement showed a balance of 417,400 overdraft. So this is the balance we are working at. After doing this and preparing the bank reconciliation, we should arrive at the overdraft of 417,400. That is the meaning. If you don't get that figure, it means we didn't do something right. Now, and we are also told that the cash we showed a balance of 525,990 credits. So that is a credit balance. So we will show that as a balance brought forward on the credit side of the adjusted cash, 525,990 Ghana cities. So this is, is the closing balance on the original cash book, which we are bringing as an opening balance in the adjusted cash book. Okay. So now that we've been able to know this, we go on to the main re revelations that we have been given, or the discoveries, and then we are going to use them to prepare. The ones that will, should be in the adjusted cash book, we'll bring them straight. And the ones that will be in the bank reconciliation statement, we take note of them. So that when we are done preparing the adjusted cash, we can we move on to prepare the reconciliation statement. We'll take those ones and then use them to prepare the reconciliation. So that is basically what we are going to do. Now the first one is about bank charges. Bank charges of 2010 had not been recorded in the cash book. So we all know that bank charges is supposed to be credited to adjusted cash book. So bank charges 2010 so we show that and then the next transaction Kofi in time exceeded his overdraft limit during the month Kofi in time exceeded his overdraft limit during the month of March the bank had therefore charged the penalty of 2500 this has not been recorded in the cash book. Now, when Kofi exceeded his overdraft limit, the bank has charged. So this is a penalty on uh, excessive overdraft, a penalty. And once it is a charge by the bank, it will be debited to the bank statement. Therefore, it should be credited to the adjusted cash book as penalty on excess overdraft. Penalty on overdraft. 2,500. So that is what it means. That is a penalty, it's a charge, so it reduces the cash book balance. Already, we are in overdraft and we are still getting more charges. <laughs> so we move on. The next one a sum of a sum of twelve thousand five hundred had been wrongly credited to Kofin Tam's bank account by the bank. So this is a wrong credit, which is being done by the bank. And wrong credits will be adjusted in the bank reconciliation statement as part because it has the same effect like un unpresented checks. Both of them has a tendency of increasing the balance at the bank. And so we are going to use the wrong credit in the bank reconciliation. We know where to put it from the format that I have already given. Okay. So we skip that and then we move on to the next one. But we take note of that that we will use it. Now, the next transaction or the next item is a check for 12,300 Ghana cities had been returned by the bank as dishonored. As the check had been dishonored, the bank charged Kofi Intam 150 Ghana cities. This has not reflected in the cash book. So, this is an issue of dishonored check where you have received a check from your customers and you have debited your cash book originally, deposited it into the bank, and then later. It was dishonored when it was going for clearance. Now listen, when as it has been dishonored already, this honored check will reduce the bank balance. So we are going to record this honored check on the credit side of the adjusted cash book. But that is not all. 
The bank has charged a penalty again on the Desane check. That is 150. So we are going to record both the Desane check itself and the penalty. This bank will love charging penalties. <laughs> All right, so that is exactly what we are doing. So the Desane check itself is 12,300 and the penalty is 150 Ghana cities. And so we'll write this honored check, 12,300, and then penalty on this honored checks. That is 150. So we have two charges against our balance. The dishonored check itself is reversed, and the penalty is charged by the bank on the business account. So that is it for that. I don't know if you're understanding what we are trying to do. We've already explained these things into detail from the part one to three of this lesson. And that is why I am moving a little faster, trying to solve this question quickly. Okay. The next item that we have, cash receipts of 37,400 were posted as cash payment of 47,300 in the cash book. Now let us analyze this. Remember that I have told you in, from the previous videos that when an error is committed by the bank, it's committed in the bank reconciliation statement. But if an error is committed by the business in the cash book, it's, it's corrected in the adjusted cash book. Now, this error has been committed in the cash book by the business. So it will be corrected in the adjusted cash book. And what is the error? We have a cash receipt of 37400 which has been recorded as a payment. And when it was being recorded as a payment, there was a transposition. The receipt itself is 37400 so it should have been debited. Then it has been recorded as a payment. For it to be recorded as a payment means that it was not debited, it was rather credited to the original cash book. But it was not credited with the same amount. It was credited as 47300 47. so this should have been the correct amount. It is being taken to the wrong side at the wrong amount. So what we need to do is that even if it was taken to the opposite side, at the same amount, it is a reversal. So we would have doubled the amount and then bring it to the debit side as, as a correction because once it's a receipt, it should be debited. But it was taken as a credit. That is the meaning of taken as a payment. So we need to bring it back. But it was taken as a receipt at a wrong figure. So what we need to do is that you cannot double the wrong figure because it will overstate the debit side. So what you need to do is that the reason why we double it is that normally we want to restate, we want to cancel off the original uh, error and then restate the new correct balance. So it's the same approach. We are going to debit the cash book with the wrong balance that they have written, this 47,300, so that in fact it will cancel it off and then we can restate this 37,400. So what we need to do is that the mistake that has been taken to the credit side needs to be cancelled out first. And after it has been cancelled out, the original and correct figure will be debited. So we are going to debit the adjusted cash book with this figure, which was credited, the wrong one, to cancel it off. And then also debit it again with the correct figure as the receipt. And so a combination of these two is what is coming to the debit. As for the credit, we have already done it in the original cash book. We assume it is there. So the correct thing to do is that you are going to add this and that together before debiting. That is how to correct. So you, the, the correct figure plus the wrong figure that was credited. You add the two and you bring it here. And when you add 37,400 to 47,300, you are going to have 84,700. And so you come here and you say error corrected. 84,700. Where did I get this 84,700? It is 37,400 plus 47,300. You add the two and then we debit the account because we are correcting an error. You may not understand this that I have done very well if you don't understand correction of errors, but I'm sure that the explanation is really going well with you. Okay, so that is how to go by that transaction. That is why I told you this question that we are coming to solve looks a little more difficult and complex than the earlier ones that we have done. Okay, and we move on to the next transaction. On 21st March, Kofin Tam deposited an amount of 6500 into his personal bank account. 
This was deposited to the business bank account in error by the bank. So someone, Kofin Tam is a separate person from the business, according to the business entity concept. So he deposited an amount of money, 6,500, into his personal bank account. Okay, but the business account has rather been credited. That is the meaning. If it has been entered, it has been credited. So this is more like a wrong credit, which will also be treated in the bank reconciliation statement. So we are going to deal with that also as wrong credit when we get to the bank reconciliation. So we have two wrong credits now. Okay, let me move on. Standing orders and direct debits of 11,150 have not been posted to the cash book. Standing orders. As for standing orders, we all know where standing order will be. I'm not going to talk much about standing orders. So standing order and direct debit, 11,150. So we put standing order here on the credit side of the adjusted cash book. And then, then we move on. The next one, customers, customers had deposited 21,700 directly to the bank account. This has not been recorded in the cash book. So if customers are depositing money directly into the business bank account, it is called a credit transfer. So this 21,700 will be recorded as a credit transfer on the debit side of the adjusted cash book. And so we'll see credit transfer, 21,700. Because we all know that credit transfers are increasing the balance. So we debit to the adjusted cash, 21,700. And then we move on to the next one. Receipt of 51,200 posted to the bank account on 31st March 2020 had not been credited by the bank. So receipts of, we have received some check or some money or whatever, and then we have deposited into the bank, but it is yet to be credited by the bank. So this is purely an uncredited check, and we are going to use that to prepare the bank reconciliation statement. So it is not coming into the adjusted cash book. So let us take note of this. When we get there, we'll come back to pick it. And then the final one, the following checks drawn on the bank had not been presented to the bank for payment as of 31st March 2020. So these are three checks and they are unpresented checks. And we know that unpresented checks will be used in the bank reconciliation they will not appear in the adjusted cash book. And so, ladies and gentlemen, we are done with the reading of the question. I told you that by the time we finish reading from top to down, we should have been able to finish preparing the adjusted cash book. So let us balance off the adjusted cash book and then get a closing balance to prepare the bank reconciliation statement as well. Okay. Now, it is obvious that still the credit size, the credit side looks more than the debit side. And definitely, we are still going to get an overdraft for the adjusted cash book. So let us find the totals for the two sides. The debit side being, the credit side being the greater side is 554,100. So 554,100. And then we find the difference as a carry down. So the balance carried down for the adjusted cash book will be 447,700. 447,700. And that means that the balance brought down is an overdraft, 447,700. And so, ladies and gentlemen, this is the balance that we are using to start the bank reconciliation statement. So, rule of And so, we prepare bank reconciliation statement as at 31st March 2020. So put our currency sign, two of them, in Ghana cities. And then we begin with the balance as per adjusted cash book. Of course, you can begin with the bank statement balance and still arrive at this figure. Okay. So, but we are starting with this balance. It's an overdraft. So, we'll say overdraft as per adjusted cash book. And the amount is 
700. Now, you can make a balance as per adjusted cash book and put an OD to represent overdraft, which is also acceptable. So you can just put capital O slash D as an overdraft. But usually, I prefer to write overdraft as per adjusted cash book. Okay, so that I'll just write the figure without any OD. Now, once it is an overdraft, remember the format I gave you in the part two of this video, that when you get an overdraft from the adjusted cash book, you are not going to add unpresented checks. You rather add uncredited checks. And we know that unpresented checks move with wrong credit, uncredited check moves with wrong debit. And in this question, there were no errors apart from the wrong credit, only two of them. And there was only one uncredited check. So that is what we are going to add. Remember, we are adding uncredited check because the balance is an overdraft. So uncredited checks, we add uncredited checks. From the question, the value of uncredited checks is 51,200. 51,200, according to additional information, the last but one. So add uncredited checks, 51,200. And when we add, we have 498,900. And then we can less or subtract unpresented checks together with the wrong credits because they move together. Now, the unpresented checks, there are three of them. There are three of them. So we are going to list them with their check numbers. So we have check number 458. Sorry, 45280. And the amount for that is 8,400. And then we have check number 45350. And the amount for that is 17,400. And then from the question, we have check number 45370. 45370. And the amount for that check number is 36,700. So we are finding a total of the uncredited checks. And so the total of the uncredited checks will be 62,500. That is it. And then we can now add the wrong credits before we subtract the subtotal from the overdraft balance that we have already. And so these are the uncredited checks, uh, unpresented checks. And then there were some wrong credits. There were two of them. The first one was in the additional information uh, in the information three where we are told the sum of 12,500 had been wrongly credited to Kofintan's bank account by the bank so wrong credits we have 12,500 and then the next one says that on 21st March Kofintan deposited an amount of 6,500 into his personal bank account this was deposited to the business bank account in error. So 6,500 is another one. Now, what you can do, you can, pref you can decide to push this balance here and find total of the wrong credits, but the effect is the same. We are subtracting all, okay? So when we add the wrong credits to the unpresented checks, we have a total of 81,500 to subtract. And so when we subtract, we are still in the overdraft zone. So we have an overdraft as per bank statement. And the overdraft as per bank statement is 417,400. This is our final overdraft. And ladies and gentlemen, this is what we have from the question. If you look at the question, we are told that on April 2nd, the bank statement showed a balance of 417,400 overdraft. And that is exactly what we've gotten. 417,400 overdraft. And so if you finish solving this and you don't get the final balance as an overdraft then, and at the same figure, then it means there is something you didn't do right, either in the adjusted cash book or in the bank reconciliation statement. Okay. And so ladies and gentlemen, this is a very simple question that we have solved. And I'm sure, even though it looks a little technical, but I'm sure bank reconciliation, you should have a mastery of it by now. Now, there is one more area of bank reconciliation that I have to talk about. 
where the question given to you is not given in statement form like we did, but they will give you a practical one, like they will give you a cash book, and then they will give you a bank statement, and you are just supposed to use your eyes to go through and prepare a reconciliation. That is quite practical. That is what is being done in the offices. And in the next video of bank reconciliation, I'm going to solve a question like that, where there will be a practical question more than the theoretical as where they will read for you. Because in the offices, nobody has time to write these things for you. But you'll be presented with a real situation of a cash book and a real situation of a bank statement. And you should have the skill to do that. And I'm going to teach you that in the next video. But for now, we are done with this video. Remember to subscribe to this channel if you are new or you are yet to subscribe to. Leave your comments and let us know how you've been helped. Share this video, like this video, and let others also have a benefit. And until we meet again for another video or for the part five of this, it is bye for now.